Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael and we are back for the third episode of the Roadmap Highlights. I know it's summer, I know it's very, very hot, but nevertheless, we are putting a lot of effort into developing your favorite game. Today, Alexandra and I want to show you the latest updates from the World of Tanks development team. So please stay tuned as we have a lot of good news to share with you. There's a lot of content that we are sharing with you guys in this video, but I still want to point out that very soon we are releasing the British Wheeled Medium vehicles that will enrich the gameplay and will cause a lot of cool situations within the battlefield. I can't wait until you guys can try those out. Hello everyone, great to have you back. Today, we've got some exciting updates for you. Let's dive right in. Now, I'm sure many of you remember the Buffin Trager and Mirny 13 events. Well, we've got more updates and juicy details to share on these modes and more. And for those of you craving something fresh, we've got just the thing. Introducing Overwhelming Fire, an exciting event featuring the Auto Cannons mechanic. And more updates on the Japanese heavy tanks you've been asking for. Overwhelming Fire is intended to be a fun mode and all about what if. It's about experimentation and crazy ideas at its very core. Such as what if there was an auto cannonati? While yes, it will feature auto cannons, we intend for this mode to be more of an enhancement to our usual fun events, finding new and fancy ways we can experiment and play with new mechanics and weird tank combinations, like this abomination, the Auto Cannonati. For the event, you will be able to drive and experiment with eight different vehicles. We will have all sorts of cannon and gun types for all each with their own interface and cool visual effects. Which means you have to ask yourself just one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you? And before any of you start getting overexcited, these tanks are intended to be fun and experimental only, not a precursor or plan for future tank release and designs for the live server. Sorry to ruin your dreams of role-playing as an A-10 Warthog on tracks. Get ready for the awesome Waffentrecker game mode. It's crazy, chaotic, and a fun experience. Irma Linda is back, and she's all set to create mayhem on the battlefield. You might already know her, but if not, you'll quickly get to know this infamous driver and her legendary tank. Say hello to Hanalor, Irma Linda's older sister, who has now joined the Alliance with a new ally, the Alliance also has a new commander, Yana, to aid the fight against the machinations of Maximilian Leonard von Krieger Witthofen Baron zu Liedensburg. This game mode will feel like a blast from the past for our experienced players, but with new exciting twists and updates to keep things fresh. And if you're a newer player, get ready for some wild and enjoyable mayhem in this mode. We've heard your requests and we're thrilled to announce the return of Mirny 13, a highly anticipated game mode. This upcoming episode will serve as the epic conclusion to the currently planned trilogy. However, the future of the town of Mirny remains uncertain. The mode will have new enemies and bosses this year. Like in previous years, they will be mobile, agile and hostile. They will be cunning and full of menace. The Immortal, with its amazing soundtrack, will make a return, but he's got some backup this year, with a different boss for players to face at each of the three different difficulty levels. I can't share their official names yet, you can say hello to Rob and Fluffy. Find them a little less intimidating with these names, and perhaps you want to drop a comment down below and give us your nickname for these beautiful new creations. The plan is that these different bosses at different levels will keep the gameplay challenging but not repetitive as you develop your skills and tactics playing the mode. Remember, the key to success is to dodge, duck, dip, dive and dodge those enemies. 
we are also going to introduce new mechanics that will allow you to deal with these dynamic and dangerous moments like the ability to become invisible to the enemy or improve your reload speed. Let's hope for a nice conclusion to the story arc for our characters. But again, you never know, it's not the first time we've been surprised by the immortal. Many thanks to all of you who took part in testing in the last recon mission. By the end of the year, you can expect to see random events in random battles, with a special Maps in Development tag, once you are in the battle, to disable these maps from appearing in your map pool, as they are enabled by default. This new generation of maps should make random battles more dynamic, as the events can launch at any time during the battle, usually in the first half, though they may not happen at all. The objects and effects of random events will be more detailed and spectacular than they were in Recon Mission. In some places, they will substantially change the map landscape, and here you can see the difference in the events on Himmelsdorf. The event zone will be significantly improved visually, and instead of the red line, there will be red fog, which indicates a dangerous zone. The event zone will be changed as well, with the vehicles inside the zone destroyed only if they interact with the big main object, like if an object crashes directly on top of your tank. If an object or its debris falls near your tank, the tank won't be damaged. This means you will have a chance to survive if you don't leave the zone in time. The way the event also triggers during the battle has been refined, and based on the testing and feedback, we hope that this should make the event occurrence more dynamic and not obstructive. We have a lot of stuff and resources currently invested in working on our new generation of maps. But we have not forgotten about old maps and the need of continual work and rebalance. We have around 10 maps being rebalanced to improve the gameplay experience on all of them and even out the win chance for both teams. Some of the maps will see some large changes, others will receive much smaller adaptations, depending on what the performance data shows, and of course on your feedback. Here's more details. Mountain Pass will see the biggest changes. The heavy tank encounter zone will be expanded, with both balconies on the dominating heights reworked. Several new pieces of cover will also be added. Some areas will be changed for both teams. For instance, we will reduce the opportunities to fire from and be fired up on when leaving the spawn from both sides of the map. The Studiansky map will also be improved in a lot of ways, starting with an expansion of the factory area to make the left side a little stronger allowing players to use their armor more effectively in more positions. And the village was also widened. The do or die ditch will better protect against fire from the spawn. On Oyster Bay, the lines of fire for artillery and the positions of sniping and ambush tanks will be better balanced. With some improvements also made to their initial route when leaving the spawn. Other maps that will receive some love are Fisherman's Bay, Muravanka, Cliff, Live Oaks, Lakeville, Ents, and Siegfried Line. We also saw a lot of interest and curiosity about new tanks from our last video. We felt it important to give you a very early sneak peek into the Japanese heavy tanks line. The new line of tanks under development will be very different from the current Japanese heavy tanks that end in the Type 5. The Type 71 line will look far more modern and technologically advanced. And I'll say personally, I love the look of these new tanks, even as an appreciator of big boxy straight line designs. The new tanks will combine mobility and protection and feature adjustable hydro-pneumatic suspension on the higher tier vehicles. More importantly, of course, 
they will be equipped with a cool new gun mechanic. The gun cooling mechanic gives you a choice of either firing quicker with regular accuracy or waiting a little longer before firing and being rewarded with noticeably improved default accuracy. The cooldown time is slightly longer than the reload time. The default accuracy of these heavies will be comparable to the other heavies of the same tier with the mechanic applied to certain vehicles of the line. Combining this new gun mechanic with adjustable suspension systems, you should be able to experience a different type of gameplay than what you would normally expect from a heavy tank line. The goal for these tanks is to be versatile, fun and not frustrating to play with or against. You will see more information as these tanks head to super test during September and as we get ever closer to their release after the British wheeled medium vehicles. We know many of you have been asking for updates about what's happening with the crew since we last announced any details. Following that last announcement, we have been working hard on putting your feedback into action. We're still in early development phase, so the changes will come live in spring next year at the earliest, but we want to share these important details with you now. We will remove below 100% trained crews in order to make the player experience with crews more convenient and friendly. All crews will start with a 100% training on the vehicle they are trained in. We are aware many players have invested time and energy in their crews, especially when it comes to training them. The XP that was earned training 50% crews up to 100% will be added to the crew experience pool. This change in tank training level means that you will no longer be able to transfer crew to a standard tech tree tank that they are not trained for. We have also been working on a brand new info page that will provide you with an overview of the upcoming events, updates and features in the next several months of World of Tanks. This should help you see important upcoming events and help ensure you don't miss anything you'll find cool and exciting. I know in particular this will be welcome for any campaign players. Make sure to check out this new feature that will help you keep up to date with all upcoming updates and events with all your tanking needs. Thank you for watching the video guys and before you go on your well deserved summer holiday I want to assure you that we are working on a very sensitive and important topic constantly, which is vehicle rebalancing. Unfortunately, I have no information that I can share with you right now, since there's a lot of work going on and a lot of discussions, and we really want to get it right. But rest assured that in the next upcoming months, you will get an update on the latest development on this stage. In the meantime, I want you to hit like and subscribe, so you're not missing out on any new content that we are releasing. And please leave comments and questions in the comment section about all the topics that we just shared together with Alexandra. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Have a great summer. Let's stay in touch.